Today, we're delving into the unfolding drama as Ford navigates the challenges of the biggest EV market crash. Join us to uncover the startling reality behind Ford's struggle in this fast-paced journey of electric evolution. Stay tuned to Evolution Tech for an exclusive look at the highs, lows, and unexpected turns in the automotive giant's quest to weather the EV market storm. In the fast-paced world of automotive innovation, Ford finds itself caught in a storm as the once-promising EV market takes an unexpected nosedive. This isn't just a dip, it's a full-blown crisis, and Ford struggling to keep its head above water. The EV frenzy began with promises of a cleaner, greener future, but reality hit hard. Ford, along with giants like Tesla, GM, and Toyota, is facing the harsh consequences. So why is this happening? Turns out, EVs aren't the future everyone imagined. High prices, lack of charging infrastructure, and the dreaded range anxiety have turned potential buyers away. Ford CEO Jim Farley is in a tight spot. They're losing a staggering $36,000 on each EV sold, desperately trying to prevent the company from going under. Production shutdowns, massive recalls, and layoffs are all part of the grim picture. The F-150 Lightning, once a bestseller, is now on the chopping block, and Ford's billion-dollar EV plans are getting downgraded. Ford's decision to bolster its gas-powered and hybrid vehicle production serves as a testament to the company's adaptability and resilience. Recognizing the need to diversify their offerings, Ford is strategically positioning itself to weather the storm of the EV market crash while simultaneously maintaining its commitment to electric mobility. This calculated approach demonstrates Ford's commitment to staying at the forefront of the automotive industry by striking a harmonious balance between tradition and innovation. At the helm of Ford Blue, Kumar Galra emerges as a key figure guiding Ford's strategic shift towards a robust commitment to gas-powered models, notably exemplified by the iconic Ford F-Series. Galra's emphasis on these vehicles, particularly with special trims like Raptor and Timberline, underscores a calculated approach aimed at not only sustaining, but also boosting profits. The F-Series, renowned for its durability and versatility, stands as a cornerstone in Ford's product lineup, and Galra's strategic vision sees these gas-powered models as instrumental in navigating the current challenges of the automotive industry. In this nuanced strategy, Ford is aligning its sights on a substantial leap in profit margins by the year 2026. This ambitious target signifies a deliberate and forward-thinking business approach, emphasizing a dedication to what's presently dominating the market gas-powered and hybrid vehicles. By focusing on these segments, Ford aims not only to weather the storm of the EV market downturn, but also to capitalize on the ongoing demand for vehicles that resonate with consumers who may still be navigating the transition to electric mobility. The introduction of special trims like Raptor and Timberline within the gas-powered models is a strategic move to create differentiated and premium offerings. These unique versions are positioned to not only meet existing consumer preferences, but also to elevate Ford's market presence and, crucially, drive higher profits. As the automotive landscape undergoes rapid transformations, Kumar Galra's vision for Ford Blue illustrates a commitment to adaptability emphasizing the importance of gas-powered and hybrid vehicles in the company's quest for sustained growth and profitability. Ford is facing a moment of clarity. They're not discarding EVs, but they're not relying solely on them either. The automotive giant is adapting to the ever-changing landscape, realizing that while EVs are the future, gas-powered and hybrid vehicles are still very much the present. As the biggest EV market crash unfolds, Ford's maneuvering to stay afloat, finding a balance between the past and the future. Will this strategy save them, or is it too little, too late? Stay tethered by subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video. Also, we welcome your thoughts in the comments section. Until we meet again, bye.